Folks, this is your new Puma 31QBBH. <clears throat> Comes equipped with a nice awning with a light. You got an outside shower. This little compartment back here holds your outside grill. You got some nice little cabinet storage space. Microwave and a refrigerator. Just above the shower, you got the black tank flush. To the rear of the unit, you have spare tire mounted on the back. A ladder to get up on your roof. Do recommend doing that about every three to six months to check your lap sealant. You don't want nothing leaking. Here's your sewer connection area. Basically you can monitor the status of those on the inside by the control panel, which I'll show you in a minute. Here's your city water connection. Just above your power outlet here. This is for a 50 amp adapter. It will come equipped with a brand new battery and two full tanks of propane. This also comes with the power, power jack. It's all electric, obviously. If for some reason your battery doesn't work, you just end up taking this little cover off up here and you're provided some jacks. You can manually uh, raise and lower your tongue on there. You got storage space there. These are your furnace vents. Basically, you can uh, purchase mud dauber screens to cover those. I do recommend doing that so bees and other insects can't get in there. Here's your fresh water connection area. If you're going to a remote location, you can fill that up and there's a water pump on the inside that will provide water to all your fixtures. Here's your hot water heater. It does usually have a cover, but I took the cover off so I can show you exactly what you need to do. Basically, you need to screw this guy in, your anode. Turn on your propane at the front. Hook up to the city water connection and fill. You want to bleed out all the air out of this little spigot until water comes out. Basically at that point you're ready to fire it up. This is also electric as well as propane. But like I said, make sure that you completely fill it with water before you turn on either or because it can burn uh, the heating element in there. Coming on in the inside. Your fire extinguisher is mounted near the door. Here's your control panel I was talking about. You got the button for your awning. Your two slides. Some different lights. The awning light. This is also where you can uh, monitor the status of your battery. Your fresh water tank as well as your, your sewage tanks. This is also where you're going to fire your water pump up as well as your hot water heater for the propane side of it. As you can see, really nice unit. Comes with a little uh, fireplace. Brand new stereo system. It also has a 40 inch TV. Brand new refrigerator. This is an electric refrigerator. Here's your stove and microwave. Basically to get this stove going, it's the same concept as at home. You're just going to, depending on what burner you want to light, put it in the high position and then you have your igniter knob here. Same thing for the interior of it. You're going to put, the, put it on the uh, flame position, hold it for a few minutes to warm up the thermocoupler, then light. Sometimes it takes a second for the gas to get in the line. Here is your controls for your furnace as well as your air conditioning system. Master bedroom. You have a vent in here that is manually turned and then 
you're good to go you can uh, vent out the hot air there's also uh, areas to charge your cell phones and your tablets as you can see really nice this area down here uh, you're gonna want to open up when it comes to winterizing your hot water or your uh, unit you don't want the antifreeze to get in your hot water heater so there's actually two valves that you need to turn uh, that will probably be gone over uh, during your walkthrough this is your carbon monoxide detector There's also little areas by the couch where you can charge your cell phones. Lots of little storage space above the couch. Here's where you're going to be checking your fuses. Basically, if for some reason uh, something doesn't work, you're going to want to come in here and check this uh, this fuse box you will get a red light that will indicate that that fuse is blown and it needs to be replaced bathroom shower you also have a vent in here um, you manually open it like that there's a button here but the switch is on the wall here so just like that that way if you're taking a shower you can vent out all the hot air obviously to the rear of the unit nice little couch this also folds into a bed and then there's also a bed above that and you have the bunk over here. There's areas on in both little areas to charge your cell phone or your tablet. Uh, like I said, this is a basic little uh, run through of the unit. Congratulations and be safe.